I am Mr. Rasmussen, standing in for Christian Slater Jones, Christian Jones, and doing a presentation for the alternative science on chlorine. See how nice his writing is? Chlorine. C H L. It's O R I N E. But that's okay. I messed up. And it, the chemical <laughs> symbol is capital C, lowercase l. I know that might look like an I to you, but it's not. It is an L. L. Correcto. And Carl Wilhelm Sheely. <laughs> Sheely. He discovered this in 1774. Now, do you know the nationality of Sheely? Yes. I think he was a Swede. German. No. I think he was Irish. a Swede. Irish. No. Okay. Anyway, here we go. Niels Bohr again said all these electrons should be in energy levels. So we got two in the first, eight in the next. That makes ten. And then seven left out there for the valence that makes it react. Okay, so is it after an electron to get to eight? Say, yeah, yeah. Come on. Say, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's after oh, yeah. one more electron to get it to eight. See, seven out there. What family is it in there? Pal. Halogen. 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 Sometimes you hear them talked about halogen lights. They're the brightest. Headlights, car lamps out there, halogen lights. And you didn't give me a special properties, but this chlorine is used as a disinfectant. And they put it in pools so it kills the microbes that come off our bodies. Which is, I mean, there's a great deal of microbes. Your gluteal crack has about an ounce of fecal matter in it. Yeah, you don't even know what that means. I purposefully did that. So I know. Anyway. <laughs> Try not to laugh. And that all needs to be killed. All right. That's all I'm saying. Out here.